Hey everybody, how you doing? Well, it's time for me to update my iRacing Trading Paints AI Collection tutorial video. Quite a few things have happened since that last time, including the UI look and feel and everything. So I'm going to walk you through all the steps to get Trading Paints AI Collections on your iRacing game so you can race against the robots. First thing you need to do is head over to tradingpaints.com and set up an account there. It is free. You will need your iRacing membership number, which you can find under My Account. When you're on the general home page of Trading Paints, you scroll down just a little bit, you need to download the Trading Paints Downloader. This is the little program that runs in the background on your computer and interfaces with iRacing so the paint schemes show up on the track. You can find the Trading Paints program either in the Start menu or in the System Tray menu. You can see the little icon there, and we're looking at how I believe are the default settings. Have everything checked as I do here. Back over at Trading Paints here, click on Collections and Browse Collections. Now you can scroll through all the collections that people have created for AI use. However, be aware that some people make public just a simple collection that is not AI ready. It's just a gathering of certain cars and certain drivers and so on and so forth. So you're going to want to open up the collection and then as you see here, this one is AI ready favorite the collection that you want to use as AI in iRacing. You can pick as many as you want, favorite those collections, and then we will find them in the iRacing UI. You only access AI Racing from the UI, not from the website. Back at the collections page under the showroom tab, you see at the top there you also have a possibility of selecting my favorite collections. This is where all the collections that you have favorited have been stored for easy access. However, at this time, I also suggest that you open up each individual collection and then bookmark that for safekeeping for the time being. Here we are in the UI main page. Select AI Racing. Select single race, either here or here. Here is where you're going to set all the different parameters for your single race or your AI season. You'll start off with the track, and then there's weather, there's race sessions, there's event standings, the cars that you'll use, time of day, so on and so forth. It's pretty user friendly, just follow the tabs and check the drop down menus. We're focusing on the AI collection, so we're going to get to the competitors here. So for testing purposes, to make sure that the collection shows up in the iRacing UI, you could just set up a practice session for like an hour long and, you know, not have races, not have anything. You can, you can configure this any way you want, but just go ahead and set up at least a practice session of at least 30 minutes in length. All right, here we are at the helmet icon, and we're going to set up our competitors. By default, in the drop-down menu, the competitor AI field roster will be the iRacing default. Here I'm setting up a practice session with the Street Stock AI and you see the default Street Stock competitor roster list there simply listed as Street Stock. Select that drop down menu then go to the list and find the AI roster you want to use. Here you can see I have quite a few AI collection competitor rosters. If you're doing this the first time, you'll probably only have one option. Select that and then click that roster. Okay, so we got all our parameters set. Let's race. Okay, as the sim is loading, when we get to the point where the track comes up, you'll probably be in scenic view. Just let the program run and let the AI guys get on the track during the practice session here. Uh, five minutes maybe, you can track that by using the lap times. I'll see you when we get there. All right, here we are. Iowa Speedway, my home state home track, if you will. We're going to go ahead and click on results. 
as the guys get out on the track there and start making laps we'll see their practice times don't get in your car don't you know load up your car or jump in there or anything just let it sit here All right, everybody's got a time in now. We're just gonna click on the very first driver and then come down here to the camera menu, select a camera. All right, so we're on Jimmy Johnson. Over down here by his helmet, you can just use one of these arrow keys or you can use the up or down arrow key on your computer to cycle through the drivers. And we're looking for the paints. So I'm gonna close the results down, there we go. We're looking to make sure everybody's paint has loaded and we're not seeing that crappy red and white generic high racing paint. Just cycle through all the drivers. Everything's looking good. Oh wait, nope, nope, okay, that's the right paint. That double zero always gets me. And it's looking to me like all the paints have loaded. And I know they have loaded because of the little trick that I'm going to tell you next. Okay, so you've gotten lucky. First time out, all the paints are loaded. Very good. All right, at this time, pause your session. Do not exit out of this session. Keep the game running. Minimize the UI. We're back here on the desktop. We're going to want to go to My Documents folder. If you don't have that saved on your desktop, then click on Windows C, Users, Your Name, Documents. Find iRacing. The very first folder under iRacing is AI Rosters. Open that up. Find the AI roster that you're using. In this case, it's the Street Stock AI Classic NASCAR paints. Open it up. Okay, here are all of the paints that have been saved on your PC to be utilized in the AI session. If you click on Select All, then right click and Properties, we see that we have 36 files. That is the right number. You have the raw you have the roster JSON file. I'll open that up real quickly for you. And all this is is the data file for the use of the program. Okay. Then you will see 35 car paints, the TGA files, that are stored on your computer in order to show those paints as you're racing the session. There's 35 cars in the roster. There's 36 files here, including the roster JSON file, so I know that every paint is here. We've seen that on the track. All the paints have loaded. Okay. Now, right click on that folder, copy, go back to your documents. I have a folder in here, my iRacing stuff. It's where all the uh, apps and everything is stored. I also have a folder called AI Rosters. Open that up and then paste that folder in your personal stored documents folder there. You have now saved the roster as it is used on your PC. The next time you fire up this roster and say car 115652 is not being represented under the iRacing folder, AI Rosters, if that car is not there, you're missing several of them, copy and paste from your saved personal folder, copy all this, paste it and overwrite into the iRacing AI Roster proper folder. It'll ask you to overwrite, say yes, go back into the UI, and the paints that were missing 
should now automatically be loaded. I don't think you have to hit Control R to get them to work. I, I've done this a couple times and they just automatically show up as the system resets itself. All right, troubleshooting. None of the paints or some of the paints do not show the very first time that you're loading an AI session. Therefore, you cannot save that folder like we just discussed in the pre previous segment. So what are you to do then? Okay. I've done several things over the last year or so. I don't know which one of these steps work or if you need to do them all. When I've had an issue where the paints are not initially loading for the very first time, whether it's all of them or just a few of them, and yes, that can be very, very frustrating, I hear you. This is what I do in order to try to rectify that. Unfavorite the collection on trading paints. That's why I had you save it as a bookmark so you could find it easily the next time around. Sign out of Trading Paints and close your browser. Delete the collection in the iRacing UI. Select on that collection. In the lower left hand corner you should see Manage Collection. Delete is an option there. Delete the collection and confirm. Reboot your PC. Sign into Trading Paints. Find the collection. Favorite it. Fire up an AI session and see if all of the car paints have loaded. I have found many times that this works just perfectly and you get all of the paints loaded in the AI session. I suspect that connection speed through your internet provider may have something to do with not all of these paints loading all of the time and Control R usually does not fix the problem I have found. I had a discussion with one viewer on my previous video and he came back about a week later and said, hey, don't know why, but it worked. But here's the important takeaway, whether it's the first time, the second time, or whatever, when you get to a point where a collection's paints are all showing on the track, save that folder as we discussed in the other segment on your PC somewhere for safekeeping if and when you load up an AI session with that particular AI roster and the paints don't show just simply copy and paste every paint from that save folder over into the iRacing AI roster folder of that specific collection and there you go. When I was uh, looking through that AI roster folder under the iRacing folder in my documents I discovered that the most recent AI roster that you have utilized is still saved within its specific folder. If you open up any other AI roster, the only file you will see is that roster.json file. No paints of the TGA file type. All the others are erased. So if you have several different AI sessions or seasons created and saved, like I have a Gander truck one, but I'm not using that one right now. The last one I ran was Street Stocks using the Street Stock AI roster. There are no paint jobs in the Gander truck folder. Okay, so if I were to jump over to that save session, it's very possible that I may come up with a situation where one or two of those paints don't load because that's not the last one that has been saved on my computer in the iRacing folder. So it has to load and jump through its hoops. That's why, again, I'm going to say one more time, now that I've discovered this, I need to save all of my AI roster folders over into my documents so the next time I have this situation and paints aren't loading I can just copy and paste that whole mess over into the iRacing AI roster folder under the right proper folder and there they are. I believe this is when you have cleanup files on exit on the trading paints program that we had checkmarked. These files do take up a fair amount of room, these paint files. So I think what happens is, is they all get erased except the one that you're using. So if that is the case, then the obvious question is, over on the Trading Paints program, why don't you just leave unchecked, clean up, downloaded files when I exit iRacing? Well, as I mentioned, these files can be somewhat large, the paint files. Well, every race that you run, every competitor that you have raced against, his paint file from Trading Paints 
will be stored on your computer. At one point in time, I believe I had clean up downloaded files when I exit iRacing unchecked. I went into the SK modified folder. My God, that thing was absolutely huge from all of the races that I had ran over a two or three or four month period. It was gigabytes. All them paint files just sitting there waiting for the next time they needed to be used. And in all reality, I raced very few of those guys multiple times. So those files were just taking up room. I can tell you that I think, and all of this is supposition, I think, that if there is a collection on trading paints that is pretty fresh, pretty new, and you can see how many days on the page that it, since it has been loaded and updated, I have found that if the creator of the AI collection roster is tweaking it and making adjustments, sometimes those paints do not load. Worst case scenario, wait a couple days until it's been a couple days since they have adjusted the roster and that may be why later on you load up a roster and the paint say Dale Earnhardt Jr. who was always there is not there now maybe he made an adjustment to that car settings the driver settings I don't know again I'm just guessing here make sure that the AI collection has some age to it okay so let's just say no matter what you do there's always one or two cars on the track that have the stock paint job and the custom paint job is not showing up if you try to refresh the paints using control plus r uh, you will find sometimes that it is not the same car each time that does not show up it kind of rotates it kind of seems arbitrary so one time you may have Dale Earnhardt Jr. the next time you may not one time you may have Darrell Waltrip the next time you may not okay so I actually did do this as a test I fired up the AI session and a couple of cars were not showing I could see that on track they were in the stock red and white iRacing colors I went to the AI roster under the iRacing tab in that specific AI collection copied everything that had loaded over into my saved file then I hit control R jumped through the hoops whatever it was loaded up the AI session okay a couple of cars did not load a couple of the cars paints did not load but they were not the not the same ones that did not load the last time I copied everything under the iRacing AI roster specific folder and pasted it into my saved folder in my documents. Overwrite. When you do that, you will see the one or two that were not there before showed up as kind of a highlight. The others have been copied. This one's a new one. You'll, you'll be able to see that. You know, maybe if you do this two or three times, you end up getting the whole damn roster. I, I did actually do that as a test one time like I said so several of the cars didn't show up the one time I copied and pasted everything all over control R rebooted yada 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 and I kept doing that until specifically in this case I had 35 cars plus the roster.json file all right I think that pretty much covers it I hope some of you can take some positive out of this and uh, reconcile some issues that you've had I'll tell you when I discovered this AI roster folder under the iRacing folder in my documents I tell you what once I have all them saved I'll never have this problem again all right guys thanks for coming along for the ride and we'll see you next time